Hey guys, uh, Mike Pittman, President Connected Solutions Group. Coming at you again for basically week three or our third Monday update on where we are with uh, hotspots and data devices and everything that, that we're trying to provide here to help you guys out during these crazy times. Hope everyone's still well. Uh, hope your families are well. Uh, hope everybody's maintaining during this uh, crazy time. Still open here at CSG. We are operating uh, all essential personnel for production are still coming in to the office. We got about 25 that, that come. Um, obviously, we're, we're doing everything we can to make sure that um, the office is a, is a clean environment for them, that they're observing the, the proper protocol uh, when they're outside of the office so that they can come here and be safe. And obviously, with any indication um, that, that we need to do otherwise, uh, we, we will certainly make that call. But for now, uh, we certainly feel like we're providing a, a, an extremely mission critical service. Um, so we are we are staying open and operational. Now, this weekend, uh, the, the first weekend in April, we got caught up um, a lot. So unbelievable staff came in over the weekend, shipped close to 500 orders, uh, or at least pulled them and, and packaged them to be ready to ship today. So a lot of folks who, who may have orders that seem to be behind or whatnot, uh, there can be a lot of shipped invoices going out today, and we are getting extremely caught up, uh, which, is, which is huge. Uh, and then this week, we, we plan on uh, continuing to work 12-hour days to, to try to continue to get caught up and get as many hotspots out as we can. Uh, there's been a lot of questions about hotspot availability. Um, we're still going to stick with uh, five to seven day lead time right now. Uh, the reality is we may be able to get stuff out quicker, especially smaller orders. Uh, but we just want to, you know, under promise and over deliver um, if, if at all possible. And being some of the uncertainty that happened like last week and the week before with stuff getting delayed and shipments getting hung up and whatnot. Uh, we want to learn from that and try to be respectful of, um, you know, setting an appropriate lead time. Um, most of what we have right at this moment ready are the ellipsis hotspots, the 700s, 800s, 815s, 900s, uh, which again, for especially for the education purposes, um, work perfectly fine for that use case and, and a lot of other basic internet needs. Uh, but then we also have more of the uh, models you guys really want coming. We, we don't have thousands coming, but we have a lot coming and they're trickling in. And as I mentioned on the last update, um, we've had to do a lot of uh, extra kind of triage testing and cleaning and sanitizing. And it's just, it's, it's a little bit more labor intensive than when we traditionally get these hotspots. Um, so... Um, a lot of them aren't available yet, but will be. So we are continuing to bring in hotspots in quantity. We're not going to run out, uh, and, and we're not just going to have the non-MDM uh, compliant devices. So I think that's been a big concern for a lot of you is Verizon MDM doesn't work on the Ellipsis devices, but works on even some of the older Novatel devices and stuff like that. Um, so we're working to bring more in. We will get more in. It's just a matter of when they'll officially be moved over onto the dashboard as available for sale and how quickly um, we can process orders and get things out. Um, and it will be somewhat of a first come, uh, first serve situation. So uh, reach out to your sales rep, reach out to me, and we'll try to do as best as we can on updating you on that. Um, I mentioned MDM. So I wanted to point that out. Obviously, I think a lot of customers are realizing, you know, over the last couple of weeks, it's been an absolute mad dash to get inventory and hotspots. And now people are realizing they need to lock these down. You know, they need to be able to control um, the data. And Verizon MDM obviously is a great, super affordable solution for that, which we can help you with this week and beyond as, as that develops. Uh, but also there's a solution called Asavi, which... Um, is a, a, a more robust kind of direct, uh, you can do a lot more um, super pointed uh, actions on blocking sites and, and doing certain things um, 
for the user. So it's, it's considerably more expensive than the Verizon MDM, but it does considerably more as well. Uh, and we can help you very much with that solution, which is available on the bus now as well. So I just wanted to point that out as your customers start to call you and realize that they need to do some stuff to protect the sensitivity of these devices as well as the data usage. Um, we can certainly help you there as well. And the last thing I'll mention, our mobile command centers. Um, that obviously has, has really picked up and we've been very proud that a lot of our mobile command center products are directly, very directly in the hot zones of this country, powering COVID-19 testing uh, remote sites and remote tents and whatnot. Uh, I don't have the clearance to share some, some super specific examples yet. I hope to have it soon. Um, but we really found out over the weekend um, how much our MCCs are being utilized out in the field to help, you know, combat the situation. And that, that was really humbling for us and uh, very touching to think that, um, you know, not only are we working as hard as we've ever worked to, pro to provide some connectivity for businesses, for schools, for healthcare uh, in the form of hotspots and, and work at home bundles and routers and stuff. Uh, but these mobile command centers that we've put a lot of work into developing and, and really a lot of work into keeping the cost down uh, for customers that they're out there in the field, uh, you know, providing connectivity in these situations. So um, it's really it's really been a humbling experience. Uh, again, we are I know it hasn't been perfect experience for everyone. Certainly um, orders have have chipped late. We've had to flip devices on a lot of customers uh, because you know, we take your order when inventory is there, but then we're asked to allocate things for healthcare or we, we choose to allocate things to, to COVID-19 specific. Um, so we've we've had to flip flop some customers and, and stuff like that. And I know it hasn't been perfect and it hasn't been seamless, uh, but for a, an organization of our size to process the, the, the amount of orders that we are and to have a staff as selfless as these guys have been, I can see it in their eyes. Like they're they're coming in on the weekends and stuff. Um, you know, obviously, maybe partially due to the fact that they don't have a whole lot more to do on lo lockdown and all that, but mostly due to the fact that they feel like um, when they come here, they're making a difference right now uh, for the organization in an uncertain time and for uh, everybody that we send these these hotspots to uh, in data devices in an uncertain time. So um, it's been a humbling experience. We appreciate you guys being patient with us, and uh, I promise you there's nothing that, that we have ever worked harder at, at trying to do right. Uh, it's just, it, it's, it's difficult to get everyone perfect, uh, but I'm very proud of overall how we've handled the situation. Again, if you need to escalate something, um, you can come directly to me, mp at csgstore.net, um, 804-349-7705, 804-349-7705. Call me directly, tell me this one has to go. This one's late. Why hasn't anyone reached out? Customer can't use this this hotspot because of something. Whatever the case may be, escalate it to me. I can obviously move it up in the queue. Um, I can move certain things forward, make sure it's taken care of. So really appreciate you guys. I know y'all are uh, just grinding your tails off like we are. And um, we we hope that uh, we can help everybody get through this and, and return to a state of normalcy sometime soon. So thank you all very much.